saying to me that it was kind of it's a bit of a therapeutic thing for you just something fun something for you to step out of your comfort zone with as well yeah. which um, I was really inspired by actually and you tried to get me to do musical theatre I that, did that lesson <laughs> that that lesson. Elf. you like Will Ferrell in the film <laughs> <laughs> And I then just had this mental image of me as Will Ferrell in, a, in an elf hat with all the little people. Gnarly, this lovely big song, uh, which is Lionel Richie's Love Oh Love, which just, oh, when you brought that to me and the, the words, they're just so poignant, aren't they? And the, the message is so, so on point forever and always, but really at the moment as well, particularly. Yeah. Um, way, way out of my comfort zone. I don't think I've sung publicly since I was probably about nine. Yeah, um, so putting you in front of an audience in November was a bit like, ooh. Yeah, due to some small pandemic going on around the world. Was the, there was a little moment of um, kind of conflict. I kind of was sort of had to take a little moment of going, is this okay to do for the rest of my life? But that'd be the only thing I do. Go, right, mummy's got to go and do some work now. I go into the other room and I basically get to chat and sing with people. They're the things that, for me anyway, have been taken into my adult life and I'm now using to uh, to make money, to run my own business. So you're, you're, a, you're a shining beacon for, for staying true to what you love yeah. without the outcome. But actually, look where you are now. And that kind of went, yeah. That clicked. I was like, and I'm nearly first. I got home and I was like, ooh, um, <laughs> that maybe wasn't the right song to choose. But...